All right, uh, so today is Monday, May the 17th, and I'm gonna go over with you your assignments that you need to be doing and taking care of. Uh, first of all, I have not put Monday's announcement up yet because earlier when I was trying to record, my computer kept shutting down. So I will put up a new announcement as soon as I get this video recorded, and then I can post the video also in the announcements part. All right, uh, classwork. Um, First of all, I want to talk to you about grades. I went into iNow, and any grade that was a zero in iNow is now a 50. You are welcome. Um, you have a fighting chance to come back from that. But that does not mean that you don't continue to submit your work and get it turned in. All right. Um, this right here, cybersecurity final review. This is something that you are going to do on your own. All it is is a set of Quizlet vocabulary where you can go in here and you can study the terms that are on here. Um, you can study them first. You can use the flashcards or you can just click on each card individually and find out what the definition is and then move on to the next one. Or if you really want to have some fun with it, you can play the match game. Uh, do not play the gravity game. The gravity game requires you to type in your answer exactly as it is right here. So if your answer was shoulder surfing and you didn't capitalize the S on it when you typed it in on the gravity game, it would tell you you were wrong. And it's really frustrating. So don't play the gravity game. Just play the match game. If you play any of the games on here and study these terms later on this week, you will have a quiz over this. And that quiz, I guarantee you, will help your average. All right, so let's go back here. Um, if you haven't done the grade notification form, do so. You don't have to fill it out more than once. I have people that have turned it in every day. We only need it one time. All right, um, these are some videos that will help. Make sure you do the check-in form for HVA and traditional students. Everybody does this every day. Reflections. I have given you five reflections for this week. And I know I told you I wasn't going to unless they could help you, but I found a way that they can help you. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do these five reflections. And if you, sh you should, if you are a traditional student, get all five of them done today because they will be taking your laptop during your social studies class. Now, what I will do is I will grade these, and for every reflection, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35, that you do, I will also replace another zero on another reflection. All right, so it's a two-for-one deal. You complete reflection 31, I will grade it, and uh, you will more than likely, if you write three good sentences, make 100 on it, I will find another reflection that you did not do, and I will replace that grade with a 100 as well. So you have an opportunity to earn five 100s, plus you have the opportunity to replace five zeros with 100s. So these are worth your time. Uh, you have some Cyber Patriot assignments to do. They are short and to the point, easy for you to get done. You need to make sure those are taken care of. Uh, cyber literacy, also, again, short and to the point. Uh, you need to get those done on chapter four, five, and six here. Make sure you take the quiz before you submit it and then type in your score in the private comments box. Um, finish all of these assignments that are on here. These past due assignments. Make sure that you click view more at the bottom of those and click view more again. Otherwise, you won't see all of the assignments down here. Probably tomorrow, you're going to see a very long past due list because I'm going to take all the stuff from up here that has already been entered into the grade book and I'm going to put it into the past due. Um, anything that has not been entered into iNow is going to stay in the current list so that I know that those assignments need to be put into iNow. Let's see, um, again, um, your grades, they look better. They're still not what they should be. So let's make sure that you're continuing to turn in work, um, turn in as much as possible. Let's get your averages up. I know you can do this. And let's see, um, do you guys sitting here in the classroom have any questions? Do you understand how the reflections work? It's a two for one deal. 
you get a grade on one and you get to replace a zero for something else. Um, if you are a student like you, Melissa and Kennedy, you too also to an extent where you don't have very many zeros, um, I will still find a way to give you points for doing those. All right, I will still find a bonus for you for taking care of those reflections. All right, so it's worth your while to do all of them. All right, I am going to stop the recording. Okay.